Hey guys, this is Valentina Palladino for Ars Technica, and today I'm here with this weird little device. This is the front row camera. Uh, so this is a lifestyle action type of camera made by Ubiquity Labs, and that's a brand within Ubiquity Networks, which makes typically Wi-Fi mesh products. So this is a very different device for them to be making. And I've been spending a little bit of time with it, so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the good things and the bad things about the front row camera. So being a type of action camera, this can do a lot of things involving photo and video. So you can take photos with it, still images, you can take, uh, take and record video. You can also live stream to Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube for up to two hours before this is going to have to be recharged. And this also has something called story mode. So in story mode, the camera will take uh, photos every couple of seconds and then at the end of your story you can end it and it will string those photos into a video of its own so you're not continuously recording you're just kind of taking photos as you go along and it'll be a little bit of a shorter kind of encapsulated video so let's run through some of the specs of the front row camera um, this has a two inch display on the back right here and it is android based actually so it's almost like a very, very limited smartphone. Um, it has an OS and it has two gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of onboard storage. And on the front here, you have an eight megapixel camera with about a 148 degree field of view. And on the back, you have a five megapixel camera. So you're meant to use this in a bunch of different applications. You can wear it around your neck like I've been doing, or you can exchange the top piece and it comes with another mount that you can clip to your clothes um, if you're wearing like a heavy jacket or something, or even if you have a bag with you. And there are also other accessories where you could attach it to a dash cam accessory um, and to a tripod mount. Uh, so there's a bunch of different ways they want you to use this. And for a $399 device, you should be able to use it in a bunch of different ways. So here's some of the things I liked about the front row camera. I really liked its design. It's kind of a weird thing to have around your neck and it is light enough to wear around your neck and you're not going to be, it's not gonna be that uncomfortable for you. But I also like the fact that it's Android based. So it's kind of a limited smartphone in that way. You can swipe through apps here and you can, you have apps here for live streaming to YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. So that's how you'd use that. The main camera video quality on this is also really, really great. It can shoot HD video, but could also go up higher than that to a resolution of 2688 by 1512. So that's even higher than HD and it's really crisp. And what's great about having the display, having this design, is that you can review all that video and all those stories directly on this device and you don't even have to use the mobile app that comes with it. You will have to use the mobile app for other things, but we'll get to that in a minute. Now, I'm not someone who does a lot of live streaming, but I do like the fact that you can live stream directly from this device. Um, if you are someone that makes your kind of career or work off of social media, this would be an incredibly cool device to have, not just for the live streaming, but also for the kind of point of view video aspect to it. You get some really cool shots with this. Um, and the fact that it can connect to Wi-Fi on its own after you do the kind of setup with your smartphone and pairing it to the mobile app. So it is kind of a standalone device in that respect. Um, and just the fact that you can kind of connect and do certain things rather than just take video and photo that you're gonna review later is really cool. Now onto the not so great things in my opinion about the front row camera. Like I said before, I do like the design. Um, and it's not that heavy around your neck, but as you can see, it's still pretty large. Um, and I kind of felt self-conscious wearing this out in the open, um, but I didn't really get as many looks as I thought I would. And also when you think of someone who is doing social media for a living, a vlogger maybe, someone who streams on YouTube or Periscope or Instagram stories, anything like that, instead of having a camera that's pointed like out towards the world or at your face when you're out in public, that's pretty uh, conspicuous. This is a little less conspicuous, but still kind of weird hanging from your neck like that. <laughs> Another not so great thing about the front row camera is that there's no real way to get the footage from the camera to your PC. What you're meant to do is download it onto your smartphone via the mobile app. So it is a very mobile friendly device and it's meant to be exactly that. But I do wish that you could get it onto your PC a little bit easier without those extra steps. Um, just because if you are somebody who's gonna be using this footage in addition to other footage, you wanna supplement it, you wanna edit it even further, um, you just wanna have it as part of a larger video, you're gonna need to figure out how to get it from the camera onto your PC. So the last not so great thing about the front row camera is the price. This is a $399 device. And I definitely see the type of person who would really get a lot of use out of this. 
If you work in video, if you just like shooting a lot of video, if you go to a lot of um, live events, or even if you just really like live streaming on social media or being able to share video quickly on social media, um, or if you're someone who likes to film a lot of home movies, this would be a really cool accessory to have, especially to get those point of view types of shots that would be harder to get otherwise. And especially considering if you might be buying a DSLR that could cost you seven, eight, nine hundred dollars or another type of camera that's very expensive to get those shots, this could be a cheaper alternative. However, it's generally just a niche device and a niche accessory that's really cool to use if you're someone like me that doesn't really take video that often or go out and shoot video all the time. It was really fun to use, but in the end, I don't think I would buy this for myself personally but could be a cool gift or a cool investment piece for someone who is very into video.